Welcome to Item Breakdown, a series where I analyze every single item in Mario Maker 2, go over their properties, and find interesting ways to use them in our own levels. This video is all about the exclamation block. The exclamation block is a gizmo exclusive to the 3D world game style. It is a solid, stationary asset that is 2x2 blocks in size. A maximum of 10 exclamation blocks can be placed per area, with a total of 20 per level. An exclamation block contains a linear sequence of up to 10 2x2 blocks within it. The path of these blocks can be drawn out from any cardinal direction of the initial exclamation block. The path cannot cross through any solid terrain, coins, most gizmos, or any other separate paths. It will produce the next block in the sequence along this preset path if it is struck by Mario from below or on either side. A shell, thwomp, bully, Koopa Troopa car, falling icicle, or even Boom Boom's spin attack will do the same. About 10 seconds after the first block is produced, all the blocks will disappear simultaneously. Ground pounding on an exclamation block will produce the entire series of blocks contained within it almost instantly. This also happens from a direct collision with a bullet bill, bonsai bill, giant shell, giant bully, giant thwomp, thrown pow block, giant boom boom spin attack, or red pow block and bob -omb explosions. The blocks extending from an exclamation block will push any items, enemies, or gizmos in their way. If an object is considered solid, such as bullet bill blasters or pow blocks, whatever is being pushed will be crushed against the solid object, but the blocks will continue to extend. Exclamation blocks are unaffected by any kind of liquid and are unable to be destroyed. So, now that we know how it works, how do we work with it? Exclamation blocks are a welcome addition to the Mario Maker item pool, as they can be used in a wide variety of situations. From giant contraptions to traditional platforms, they have such a versatile use that it almost makes me sad. Because as of September 16, 2019, they're only available in the 3D world game style, which is lacking some of the most basic tools from the original four game styles. I mention the date here because it would be a real shame if these never made their way to the other game styles, as this block could be extremely useful for so many different scenarios. But enough complaining about what scenarios they can't be used in, here are a few scenarios where they really shine. For you contraption builders out there, exclamation blocks can be used as pretty efficient signal transfers. Since exclamation blocks are globally loaded, they can be activated off screen. This can be used to send an input from one end of the map all the way to the other. A quick note about global loading though. This doesn't mean that as soon as the level is loaded, all of these exclamation blocks are loaded. It simply means that they don't despawn when moving past the camera border, like most other items do. Enough about that though, how about using exclamation blocks to pump up the adrenaline in your speedrun courses? Nothing gets the blood flowing quite like platforms you're supposed to be jumping on appearing right below you at the last second. We can do this by activating the exclamation blocks using thwomps that trigger when the player is near, or even red pow blocks that the player has to throw themselves or combining the two to get some sweet chain reaction action. Now let's slow things down a bit with a puzzle. We need this thwomp to crush through these stone blocks in order to progress. Now obviously this thwomp isn't in the correct position in order to do that, so we need to strategically hit these exclamation blocks to push him there. Traditional levels can also make good use of this block, whether that's for platforms, ways to enter pipes, bonus challenges, or all of the above. However, I'd be a total hack if I didn't explain one extra example where the exclamation block exceedingly excels at, and that's troll levels. Just the fact that the player doesn't know what path the blocks extending from it will take is trolly enough. They could be used to crush, push, and psychologically torment the player in extraordinary ways. Do I hit this exclamation block? The last one crushed me against the ceiling, so I'm not sure if I trust it. Oh, I guess I actually needed to hit it this time. Just remember to use it responsibly. Troll levels should be about figuring out how to do something, not figuring out what to do or where to go. And that's just the first extension of this interjection package. 
If you're looking for more inspiration, check out another one of these item breakdowns. And you can help pick which item I do next by becoming a patron or YouTube member. See you in the next one.